I gotta be honest with you guys about something. I haven't shown the Ferrari much on the vlog because the Ferrari hasn't been drivable for quite some time now. She's just run into crazy electrical issues. I don't know what it started from and I can't even drive the car now without it going into limp mode. I literally have to carry the scanner with me wherever I go. It's unfortunate, but Ferrari has asked to see my Ferrari. Now, I don't think it's because of the mods or the videos. I don't think it has anything to do with the nitros. At least I hope not. I think they want to help get this car running and driving correctly. So I just have to wait for the battery to actually charge before I can drive into Ferrari. Allie, save the day. <laughs> let's head on the road. Let's get there. Let's do this. I'm a little overwhelmed. Look, I literally, I think I need to clear codes before I go. We're in Ferrari heaven right now. Look at this place. Oh my God. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> One, two, three. God, I, I love Ferraris. They suck to work on, but I like them a lot. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. Thank How are you? Thank you so much. I'm good. Great. Oh, here she is. She looks clean. You guys are... Yeah, uh, yeah. So it's getting there. How it's is she? Great, great. Just needs a little love. Yeah. Needs a little Ferrari <laughs> love. Yeah, yeah. Should we say how we got in contact? Oh, boy. Well, we, yeah, we saw some of your videos and the pain that you were going through on the vehicle. If we agreed, the only way we'll work on it is if we change the color to a Ferrari color. <laughs> yeah, you guys, we're, we're repainting the Ferrari. Um, they have agreed to help. I'm, I've agreed to repaint the Ferrari yes. from a Toyota blue. Correct. It has to go back to its roots. <laughs> it's gonna, Ferrari. It's going to go to a Ferrari paint color. I don't know which one yet, so comment below. Bill and all the wonderful people here at Ferrari got tired of seeing me suffer. Oh and, yeah, uh, no. we got to need some love. I think the straw, it was the final straw when I was driving Laguna and she went into limp mode. Oh, we went limp mode, we went limp mode. Way no! That means we can't drift. I can't pull over. No! Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, clear coats, clear coats while I'm driving. I can't believe that just happened. Absolutely, that's yeah. it. You're off the track, you're coming to us. <laughs> It's embarrassing. I know. I gotta represent properly. Come on, this is a heritage. So yeah, the car's been gone through so many hands and, and people have touched it and didn't know what they were doing. So it needed some factory train technicians to get it back to where it needs to be. Yeah, and no diss to any previous shops whatsoever. I think the issue they've always tackled has been fixed, but it's a Ferrari and there's a lot of weird things which oh, then causes other issues. Oh, yeah. And our boys here are trained to work on these specifically. So we know what we're doing. Yeah. Like Kenny over yeah. here. Yeah. Hey, Kenny, hey, how's it nice going? Nice to meet you. <laughs> we met you. <laughs> <laughs> Can you share with us what you found on the car so far? Yeah, there were a couple of issues with the car when it came in. Ignore the, the nitrous solenoids. Yeah, yeah, ignore the nitrous solenoids. We're not going to. <laughs> Believe it or not, that is not the issue with the car. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's not. I would love to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Factor. Too busy this fall to cook, but want to make sure you're eating well? With Factor, skip the extra trip to the grocery store, the chopping, the prepping, and the cleaning up too, while still getting the flavor and nutritional quality you need. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. So all you have to do is heat and enjoy and get back to crushing your goals. Factor supports wholesome eating made simple. Their menus are updated weekly and include 34 plus meals and 45 plus add-on options. Choose your favorite meals or let Factor craft your order based on your taste preference and meal history. If you're trying to be calorie conscious, try delicious dietitian approved calorie smart meals with around or less than 550 calories per serving. Meal plans range from four to 18 meals per week and you can add more or reduce the number depending on your specific needs Plus, you can easily skip a week if you need to. I really struggle to have time in my life to shop, cook, or clean, but I need to eat clean to keep my energy and health in tip-top shape. I even hate wasting time trying to decide on what I'm going to eat. This week I received six meals, but you're only gonna see five here because I already ate one. We have ground beef thyme cottage pie, black pepper sage pork chop, and jalapeno lime cheddar chicken. I'm gonna go for that one for dinner. Let's eat this up, show you guys how easy it is. Look how good that looks. Mm, it smells so good. I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> Go to factor75.com and use code Amelia50 for 50% off your first factor order or hit the link in the description below. All right, 
I'm gonna finish my dinner and you guys finish this episode. <laughs> we found a couple issues. The first issue we found is this car is really dependent on engine vacuum and the vacuum system was compromised. It had two bad check valves. And by bad check valves, you mean somebody put not Ferrari check valves on? Yeah, there was one missing and one of the yeah. check valve was too small. We are trying to go back to as much Ferrari as possible. Everything should be Ferrari, OEM, because that's just... Yeah, the, these cars, they, they need the parts that they were designed with. Any aftermarket parts really don't mesh with, with the Ferrari engine and the Ferrari drive chain. And at first Ferrari. I thought that was BS, because I mean, I'm used to working on LSs, yeah. but... but yeah. The biggest issue was, is when you requested full power, the car would go into a limp mode right. and would not allow the engine to run past, you know, 1,000, 1,200 RPM. I was insane. driving with a scanner. I had to constantly clear the codes right. every time. Because immediately it, they would come back. Yeah. But that makes the car undrivable. I like how the Ferrari race team is next to us just pushing. Yeah. <laughs> just casually. <laughs> casually pushing the 296 out of the point. Do you want to show where the other thing that we yeah, found yeah, on Yeah, 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 show me. So this is the this Ferrari is the, intake manifold. Yes, and this is the intake off Amelia's car. We got it on the bench to inspect it. And what we found is that the intake flaps, which are these right here, were not moving where they were supposed to be when the computer commanded them to move. And the reason being- Is this the, actua the old yeah, actuator? Yeah, these are the old actuators that were actually having an issue. Um, you can see right here, that they don't return. You see that, that stanchion there, the sticking? That's what's not allowing the flaps to return in a timely manner, mixed in with the with insufficient vacuum. After this, she should be back to perfect. Yes, and absolutely. Yeah, that's, yes. that's why I'm here with and you that's guys. It, and we're gonna do another you know, follow-up video yeah, yeah. once we get yeah. it We'll have you do a donut in front of Haven Hurst. Exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, we're on. Okay. Okay. Performance we're test. On. <laughs> I am more than happy. You know, right. we will find the limits of this car one absolutely. way or another. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> You're gonna go with those suckers. They'll find the limits. Yeah. Say less. That's yeah. a good idea. Actually, we should just trade. You know. You know, I know a thing or two about the exhaust systems on those. Just saying. You guys accidentally swapped these two cars. I mean, they both have kind of that same matte look. You know? Exactly. They won't go to the Sorry, I least, accidentally gave least, your. At uh, least for the weekend. I accidentally gave your LaFerrari away to this girl, and, <laughs> but I got you this. Blue one. I was mesmerized by the camera and I gave him the wrong keys. <laughs> uh, do you know what the paint color is on, on this? Uh-oh, yes. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm just saying, this looks really good. It's going to be the Grigio Medio. Grigio Medio. I don't know, I'm thinking this could be good. A Ferrari white could look great too. I don't know, but I really don't hate that green. You see green, I see blue. Yeah, I it's see it. It's yeah. both. I dig it. You need car you need carbon. I could always swap the front pieces to a carbon fiber and the rear diffuser carbon fiber. These air vents carbon fiber. That could look good. Don't you have GT3 carbon fiber mirrors? I do. It's time for a change. Yeah, I'm I ready. get a lot of compliments on the body kit. Yeah. yeah. Which is probably rare because most people you body kit on a Ferrari like Ooh. No, only in GT world, yeah, like yeah, yeah. not in the streetcar world. Yeah, no, I like it. it reminds me of a baby La Ferrari. It does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to finish it. So yeah. See, I can't wait to drive without it going into limp mode. Right? <laughs> That's a $150,000 Ferrari plate electric car. This is all electric. $150,000 for this? Yeah, I think he paid $100,000, 125000 but they've gone up, of course, because they're so stupid rare. <laughs> is this street legal? I uh, know. Okay. No. What do you do? You just drive this from drive your around on your f***ing estate. Yeah, I was gonna say they do from one house on your Literally. fifty thousand acre. I property go get the maid and it's jumping that. <laughs> Seriously, it's a weird looking golf cart. I mean, your golf clubs would fit on the on the passenger side. Yeah. Well, she's in good hands. Thank you again, Ferrari, for reaching out and helping me with this car. I was getting so over it. I totally get when people just feel overwhelmed with the car and want to sell it. They just feel like it can never be fixed, but I'm very fortunate that they reached out and these guys here are crushing and I'm so thankful. So hopefully we'll see her back on the road very soon. Los Angeles Ferrari Service Center. I cannot thank you guys enough for completely saving my life and my car. So thank you, seriously, you guys. I am here just in time to give you guys an update on the GT40. I'm sure you want to know what's going on with that. The GT40 is ready for inspection. In order to get her registered correctly, there's a few inspections that we have to go through. First being CHP. And if you take a look at the inside, we've also fixed a couple things. The seat is also now on a slider, so I no longer have to use the pillows. The pedals have been spaced. 
there is a cutaway now here so foot can rest perfectly there and the throttle pedal has been cantered out a little bit so i cannot wait to see dean's face when he gets to drive this car for the very first time i'm gonna be replacing lexus and windows i much prefer the sliding one win in window you know i'm going through a drive through i want a drink i can stick my little hand out of there gonna be putting the side skirts on gotta finish getting the ac going but none of this is needed for the inspection and then after we go through that process we'll talk about more horse purrs. Now you guys see Phoenix here. We got the hood popped. We're doing a little work on her. And that's because we are going to be taking her to the dyno very soon. We're swapping map sensors, spark plugs, and a couple other little things. 240 is ready to go drifting. And the Mustang is ready to go drag racing. We are making such great progress here at the shop. All the cars are running. All the cars are driving. And soon we'll be starting the Camaro build, which I am so excited on. I'm naming the Camaro Sophia after the previous owner's granddaughter. I just, the name fits. I might have some unfortunate news on the Z06. Let me figure out some things first, and then I'll, I'll tell you guys what's, what's going on. I am so excited that the 458 is in good hands and I cannot wait just to have a Ferrari that runs without going into limp mode. She's just having issues since I bought her, so hopefully this will be it. Fingers crossed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please support by going to HartfordLTD.com and pick up some return to life apparel. Thank you guys for all of your orders. Also, the GNX has officially sold and I'm so happy that she's going to a very proud new owner. Ikuro, we out here with love. Bye! <laughs>